trans people are not as broadly accepted as most other minority groups. What does that tell us? All right, <clears throat> chat, I'm gonna be reading you guys an article by Vice today. And uh, well, let's just say it's gonna be a little bit bizarre to say the least. Mississippi Republican says trans rights supporters should face a firing squad. Robert Foster tweeted that groomers and supporters of trans rights should be executed by firing squad, then doubled down. A former candidate for the Mississippi governor tweeted last week that groomers and supporters of trans rights should be executed via firing squad. His account has already been reinstated by Twitter. For those of you guys that don't know, Twitter has said that they cannot, um, you, like, they can't apply their rules equally to right-wing figures and, like, normal left-wing people. Because if they did, then they'd have, they'd have to ban every conservative politician and political pundit. So they, they have to, like, basically right-wing figures get affirmative action to not get banned. Like, they, they get more chances before they get banned than other people do because Twitter realizes that, like, the look of banning everyone who, who's racist on Twitter would, uh, would, would it basically mean banning every right, right winger, everyone who's homophobic, racist, sexist, etc. All the right wingers would be gone. They're all that. Um, so on Thursday, Robert Forrester suggested, apparently unprompted, that those who want to groom our children and pretend men are women, the latter a reference to supporters of transgender rights, should be lined up against a wall before a firing squad and sent to an early judgment. Forrester reiterated his call for the state-sanctioned murder of trans rights supporters in a message to the Mississippi Free Press. The law should be changed so that anyone trying to sexually groom children and or advocating to put men pretending to be women in locker rooms and bathrooms with young women should receive the death penalty by firing squad, Foster said, the website declining an interview. Though grooming is a real term used to describe adults who built trust with children and their families in order to sexually abuse them, the American right has been... Uh, recently weaponizing the term to portray supporters of LG LGBTQ plus youth as being driven by pedophilia. For Foster, a former two-term state representative who received 18% of the Republican primary vote in 2019, was the principal author of the 2017 bill allowing Mississippi to execute death row prisoners by firing squad and gas chamber, according to the Mississippi Free P Press. Wait, what? He was the principal author of a 2017 bill that would allow Mississippi to execute death row pr prisoners via firing squads and gas chambers. So, assuming he pushed a bill to try to get death row inmates gassed in gas chambers, and he believes trans people are groomers who should be killed by the death penalty... He's just outright saying he wants trans people and their supporters to be gassed in gas chambers like the Holocaust. And how many how much of the vote did he get, by the way, received 18 percent of the Republican primary vote in 2019. 18 percent of Mississippi Republican Republicans voted for the guy who said he wanted to gas and firing squad death row prisoners, which also seem to include trans people and supporters of them. Interesting. Foster's post, uh, post late, was later removed by, for violating Twitter's rules, but the ex-lawmaker continued to imply that trans rights supporters should be killed. In response to a tweet from former Mississippi, Mississippi GOP executive director Spencer R Ritchie, implying Foster was a racist or a fascist, Foster castigated uh, Ritchie and other spineless establishment rhinos for conceding every fight with the communists. Now the godless have power and they are destroying our country, Foster tweeted at Richie. Soon we'll have to deal with this directly. Uh, it literally, literally just like, like villain, like villain monologues from like a TV show or a movie. That tweet is still up as of Tuesday morning, as was another where Foster says that a firing squad was a civilized and efficient way of disposing of evil and a cheap and a cheaper and cheaper than it would be to fly them all up over the Gulf of Mexico and push them out of a helicopter. Transgendered people are merely victims. It's their pedo groomers that are consumed by evil, Foster said in another post. 
Foster attempted to backtrack and said he had limited his call for executions to groomers of children, though that was a lie. It appears his account was briefly suspended, but by Sunday, he was back on the site. Twitter did not respond to a request for comments on, from Vice News asking for details about Foster's suspension. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves, who defeated Foster in, the, in that 2019 gubernatorial primary, signed a bill into law last year that made Mississippi one of a dozen state states to law state, wait, one of a dozen states to outlaw banning or sorry i'm very bad at reading made mississippi one of a dozen states to outlaw to outlaw banning trans girls from or to pass laws banning trans girls from playing with youth sport playing youth sports with other girls a similar law passed last year in west virginia was blocked by a federal judge after utah governor uh, spencer cox vetoed another similar bill last week citing statistics showing the high rates of attempted suicide among transgender children and the fact that only one transgender girl who plays youth sports in utah republican lawmakers overrode his veto friday while amending the bill for the state to cover legal fees associated with the legislation i remain hopeful that we will continue to work towards a more inclusive fair and compassionate policy during the interim cox said in a statement friday Put the article on stream? Oh. Yeah, this is the guy, by the way. Pretty fucking creepy dude. If you're wondering the part that was hard for me to, um... That was hard for me to read? It was, uh, this part. That made Mississippi one of a dozen states to laws banning... I, I think that's a typo. I'm pretty sure it's a typo. Um, yeah, this is what the guy looks like. Uh, he looks like T. Martin. You guys ever seen T. Martin? He looks like T. Martin. Anybody else seen it? Anybody else picking up what I'm putting down here, T. Martin? Yeah. Anyway, 18% um, of the vote, by the way. So 18% of Republicans in the state of Mississippi voted for a guy who wants to firing squad and gas trans people and their supporters. What does that tell us? What does that tell us, chat? People suck. Well, it simply tells us that we're currently at a state in our society where trans people are not broadly ex as broadly accepted as most other minority groups. You could never get away with tweeting something about this or tweeting something like this about gay people or black people or women or like any racial group. You would be barred from politics forever. You just you're out. You'd be outright coming out as a Nazi to say something like this. There, 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 it, 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 you couldn't. Trans people, on the other hand, are currently not really accepted enough by society for it to be completely unacceptable to be bigoted towards them socially. But there are enough people aggressively advocating for the rights of trans people for us to be more or less, at least as far as the discord go or discord, as far as the discourse goes, seemingly split between people who are absurdly anti-trans to the extent of wanting to gas them and, and line, them up, line them up in firing squads, and people who are actively trying to fight for their rights. This is an issue that has left modern politics extremely divided. I get a lot of shit for talking about trans issues. In fact, there was a while where I stopped talking about trans issues altogether because... Uh, Trans Twitter just wouldn't stop canceling me because I was a cis dude. And uh, I ended up uh, saying, I'm not going to talk about trans stuff anymore. And I spent like three months following that rule. And then eventually I just stopped not talking about trans stuff anymore. And they all got mad again and said, what happened to you not talking about trans stuff anymore, cis boy? And they all got really mad. And then I eventually just blocked them all, told them to go fuck themselves and start doing whatever I want. And my streaming experience got a lot better. Never let the woke scolds drag you down. Um, never let... The types of people on the left who don't want to see the left win keep you from helping the left win, okay? Help the left, any way that you can, anything you can do to try to help the left win, to spread the ideas the left believes in, um, do it even if people on the left are trying to claim that you don't have a right to advocate for these beliefs because of your identity. Don't let them tell you your identity precludes you from talking about certain issues. Um, with that said, though, um, yeah, there, there are a significant amount of people in our society that were they to gain power, would absolutely line all the trans people, all the LGBT people up, etc., uh, shoot them, 
gas them just like they did in the Holocaust. These people are Nazis. There's a reason why we use the term Nazi. It's not like we're using an exaggerated phrase to make people look bad. If these people gained power, they would legitimately bring out the gas chambers and start recreating Nazi Germany. If they were able to gain power, that's what they would do. They, he pushed a bill that would have actually made gas chambers a legal um, method of, uh, of executing um, death row inmates. And if he won governor, well, you know his opinion on trans people. We could have come pretty close to some pretty fucked up shit happening in Mississippi. So with that said, there are plenty of other guys like this. There are a lot of other Robert Fosters out there like this. And uh, people like Matt Walsh, he, Matt Walsh is a guy like this. Matt Walsh, he would absolutely shove all the trans people in the gas chambers. People like Ben Shapiro, people like Andrew Clavin and uh, Michael Knowles, all those guys, all those big right-wing conservative figures, if they were able to gain power, if they had their say, you better believe they'd be throwing you in the gas chambers, just like this guy wants to. That said, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe. If you're new and you want to see more from me, follow all my social media, link down below. And of course, if you want to see... Uh, uh, support me financially. You can donate, subscribe, or gift a sub over on my website. You can also support me over on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, or through Patreon. And with all that said, thank you all so much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and have a good one.